serve them all. That's why we are here to come and worship his name. We are here to bow down before his throne. Just begin to lift up your voice. Give yourself to prayer. Wherever you are, just begin to lift up your voice and worship his name. Begin to adore his name. Begin to reverence the name of the Lord because he deserves them all. Just begin to worship his name. Oh! 
Worship His name. Worship His holy name. Worship His holy name. Lift up the voice and glorify His name. Father, I love Thee and I just lift up the voice and worship His name. For this great time.
one of our old songs that says, Do you really love Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you belong to him? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Yes, I do. Do you belong to him? Yes, I do. Are you one of his own? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Are you born again? Yes, I do. Are you saved by grace? Yes, I do. One of his own. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you, listen, listen, another one. Do you have Jesus in your heart? Turn around. Jesus, your best friend, turn around. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Are you born again? Turn around. Do you belong to Jesus? Turn around. Truly your brother, give me five. If I'm truly your brother, give me five. If I'm truly your brother, give me five.
Listen, listen. Are you going to heaven? Shake your body. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just hold on, just hold on. Lay it fast, lay it fast, lay it fast, okay? Lay it fast, huh? There is space in the hall. You have no reason to be outside. So go into the hall, please. Are you going to heaven? Shake your body. Going to heaven. Shake your body. Are you going to heaven? Do you really love Jesus? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Are you really born again? Are you really a child of God? Are you saved by grace? session to your hand. We ask you to have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, if you are outside, go inside as there is free seat. You don't have any reason to stand by the window except you are an usher. Please, go take your seat. Amen. Tomorrow here, we are having persons who will be wedding. So, we want to 
invite Hosanna. Sister Blessing.
have his way. Let the Lord have his way. Let the Isaac and Sarah If you are alive, can you jump up and shout hallelujah? Amen. Have your seat. You see, this is testimony night. You know what? If Jesus didn't come tonight, by this time tomorrow, you will be called Mr. and Mrs. Hallelujah. Therefore, we have a lot of young people here. They just want to know how, why, yeah. How did you come together? How did it happen? Where did it happen? Why do you want them to come here tomorrow? Let
those of you outside, I don't know why you choose to be outside, but please come in and take your seat. That makes you a better human being. Please, praise the Lord. So, Sister Blessing, you are facing Brother Samson. Sister Juliet, you're facing Brother Rosan. So I, I, I don't want us to make mistake of who we are marrying because I realize when wedding is getting close, there's this similarity that suddenly resemblance suddenly just start taking place. Yes, praise the Lord. So we are going to answer just simple questions. Number one, how? Number two, why? Number three, where? Now, the number one is, how did you know that's going to be you? Okay. Why do you want this to be where did you meet? It's possible you met in a barbing salon. It's possible, I don't know, where? Maybe the house of God. Maybe you want to know? The young ones want to know. Everybody wants to know. Even me, I want to know. start with uh, the congregation no 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on this is family affair they will be the one to choose among the two of you who is going to start whoever they choose start so who is going to start to give answers okay 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on if it is Hosanna, raise up your hand. Okay, drop your hand, drop your hand. If it is something, raise up your hand. When you are talking, you have to stand up. Okay, so when you finish this, she will have to respond. So I'm going to put the mic in her hand. So, question number one. How? Because we have many sisters. How come it is she? Why she the one? Where did you see her? Because whether you like it or not, whether she likes it or not, many sisters are there who would have. There are many brothers. Who would have? But how come among all? Please, you have to tell us how. How did you find her? I'm going to see now. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. One minute remaining. Uh, I want to say that it was in 2011. Hmm. When, when I came here, 2011, 
I was working for the Lord with all my strength and the joy, the love in my heart. And suddenly so, she jumped in. No, sir. Please tell us, tell us, tell yes. us. So, there's our former all year before. Yes. Before we built this one. All things have passed away. Yes. So, after I closed from work that very day, I was standing by the side of the hall. Yes. So, I was watching inside. I was like, they are tried to want to hold fellowship that very day. So, I was standing by the side of the hall. So, very clear in my heart, and I heard in my heart that, see, turn your, I heard in my heart that I should turn, and I turn my neck. I saw Sister Blessing, she's on her way. She's on her, praise the Lord. It looked like she's on her way to school. She wore white and black. I don't know whether it's school. Then, uh -huh. so he said, this is your wife. This is your wife to be. When I heard that voice, I said, sit her, get behind me. Because I was not even, so when I rebuked that voice and I, I left there immediately, because I, that, I mean, in short, I don't pray with anything that I have to do with things like that. Well, I was thinking maybe I'm lost in. But I look, I check my inside, I'm not like that. Because my mind, it was not anything. I would just focus my attention to the hall. So when I left there immediately, I went to the house. So it was when I get to the house, I was just doing all that thing. So when I go to the compound, sorry, sir. Immediately you got to the house. Yes. God made you to sleep like Adam. Yes, sir. And then took the rib. Yes, sir. But, but no, I want to know. I'm asking questions. <laughs> Yes, what happened? Yes, what happened? When I got home, yes. so I uh, was just, what can, how can that be? Yes. But I was, I, I'm having some kind of, I'm confused inside. Yes. But the way I heard that voice, it was to a comfort and kind of joy in my heart. Mm. I see. So I didn't take it serious. So that the very day left, almost about a month of it. So. And I had the revelation. Inside the revelation, I, was, I saw ourselves and myself. Pastor was sitting down like this. So. <laughs> Praise the Lord. In that revelation, it looked like just like real world. Very clear. So, Pastor said, I join you. Both of you together in the in now proclaim instantly. So that I woke up. When I woke up, I okay, was... time up. Listen. You know why? You will have more time to talk about it. And I know tonight you may not even sleep because you have to organize cooking, organize so many things. The cloth you are going to wear tomorrow, you have to check it if it's worse. So everything. So, so I will not. I will not make you uh, 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 because of time, eh? And a lot of people here, their clothes have not dry and rain is falling. They want to go and iron it. So we won't keep you here for too long. So just simple question. There will be a day you will have microphone for hours, no problem. Now, the first time you saw her, if I understood you well, the Lord spoke to your heart that this is your wife. Yes. And you thought you were lost in. Yes, and you decided to silence the voice of the Lord. Yes. But something happened. Yes. You just discovered that there was joy in your my, spirit. In my spirit, sir. And wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Please, please, please control yourself. Control yourself, because you're not the one married now. <laughs> so, so now you discover that um, um, you, I mean, it's not like your body was moving sexually no. or whatever. But in your spirit, there was joy. There's joy inside. Okay. Yes, so, you know why I have to emphasize this? Yes, sir. Because we have a lot of young people yes, here, sir. we have boys and girls. Yes, so maybe tomorrow they are in class and then they are, they are lost in, their body is moving. Yes, we we'll say this is how something sources yes, that blessing. Yes, so I wanted to make that clear. The difference yes, between when you see somebody and your body starts arousing yes, and when the Lord truly speaks to your heart and your body doesn't arouse. Mm, so there's a difference. Yes, uh, is that well understood? Yes, yes. Sir. Okay, okay. Praise the Lord. And then you had a. A kind revelation. of revelation yes, later. Yes. This, the first revelation was in your spirit, in yes, your heart. Yes, the second revelation was like in yes, a dream. A dream yes. And then you saw my very self. Yes, sir. Very, very clear. Very clear. Very clear. Yeah. So.
and you saw you saw two of you. Yes, sir. Okay, so what you are saying is that then what you are saying is that you meant in the house of God. Yes, sir. That's that's where you meant. Yes, sir. You it, you didn't you didn't meet in a no you know at all. I mean she was not showing her. I mean, uh, uh, which means she was not. It was not her butos that attracted no, you. No, no, at all, sir. At all, no, sir. Okay, she. Okay, she, it was not like she was wearing V cloth, showing part of her. That no. was not what your eyes went no, for. No, sir, not at all. No, 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 sir. No, no. nothing like that. We want to be very sure. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so have you? It's like he has answered the three questions. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, now, okay. You, you, you've answered why, no, how and where. You've not answered why. Now, why do you want to marry her? For me, if I were you, I know what to say, but I can't speak for you. Why do you want to marry her? Why? Okay, because, I mean, you, you could, you can you can be happy revelation and see many many sisters of course this is not the only sister you ever dreamt of that ever came to your dream but why this one among all why do you want to marry what is unique about her To be frank, let me help you. Since I've known her, I've never seen her teeth shining like this. Oh my God. It means that something is happening in the spirit world. Okay, and I want to know the reason why is it that tonight sisters are more happy than brothers. Brothers, listen, listen. I am thinking that is it that you are not happy that he's getting married or wait 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 or or some of you were praise the Lord. No, I just want to know the reason why I'm not hearing you. But now that I know that you are happy and uh, you are not uh, disappointed, I'm happy about you too. Because the guest seems to be the one that I just, uh, you know. But, but, but I do hope you will want to still go to school, sisters. So why do you want to marry her? Like somebody, for example, like somebody will say, okay, the reason why I want to marry her, okay, she's born again. She's a, I discover she's a true sister in the Lord. I discover she's the best for me. She's God's choice for me. I'm just giving an example. Or you're going to say, okay, I want to marry her because... Even if I beat her, she will not cry. <laughs> Are you going to be beating your wife? No, sir. Okay. Now tell us why you want to marry her. Praise the Lord. You have 30 seconds. Okay, sir. Why I want to marry her, that the law, she's the person that God revealed to me. And, and when he revealed it, so there's a confirmation in my spirit and even when I even went to, when I, when I went to you, sir, uh, give, to give the report, because the first day I, I came to give the report, I didn't put her name. You were attend to me in the hall, in the former hall. You said, I'm not the one who told you to marry her. No, sir. Why do yes. you want to marry her? Yes. Why I want to marry her is she's the right person that God choose for you. Choose for me. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, and when he choose, when he reviewed to me, keep re reviewing it and review often and often. Often and often. Often and often. Okay, okay. You know the audience may have questions. They may have questions. Uh -huh. 
So I'm not going to stop them from asking good questions. I will only stop them from asking bad questions. Okay. Praise the Lord. Sister Blessing. Praise you. And not Ambrose. <laughs> the reason, the reason why I ask is because he has been standing playing, even when he's, me, he's playing. Uh, you hear now? Okay, so, yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I think it will be better for you to just go to the answer because when you say praise the Lord, praise the Lord, time will be going. <laughs> okay. First of all, I want to appreciate God for a time like this, for making me to sit here and testify how I saw him as the person that I want to marry. Okay. Okay. How? How did you see him? Yes, 2000 and. 11. Ah, the same year? Yes, sir. I want to sit down. <laughs> eh? So it was one. Wait, wait. 2011. Yes, sir. I'm coming. 2011. Are you people going to have 2011 children? <laughs> no. Uh, it's possible. Okay. Okay, let's do the maths. Two, then there's zero, you remove zero, then you remain 11. 11 can be one, one. Is it twins? Two. Twins? Is it twins? It's possible. It's possible. With God, all things are what? Okay, 2011, what happened? So it was one morning as I came to sweep your compound here. So as I was sweeping, it was one beautiful morning. Although every, all morning was beautiful, but that very day was. Okay, so. okay, 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 okay. So that morning was beautiful. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. as I was sweeping, so I when heard, you were sweeping, yes, I you heard, saw something killing. You saw something killing. Uh, you see, saw something killing a lion. And oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. As I was sweeping in the morning, I saw. Somebody, uh, then he was in charge of generator, uh, this thing there. Mm. Then I, I saw somebody there. I heard in my heart that I should stand, I should stand up. I bent, I bent myself like that. I should stand up. As I sta stood up like this, I, I looked straight. It, that was not the first day for me to see him anyway. And to see him before, but that very day, I heard it very clear in my heart. So that I, should, that I should raise up my head. As I looked straight, I saw him, his back. He was backing me, was facing the generator. I heard it so clear and clear in my heart that that person is the right, is the person you want to get married to. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Before you go further, I want to chip in something. 
Because after marriage, I know very well that there are moments of pleasure, but there are also moments of trial. Yes, sir. So, you know, this thing both of you said, the Lord said, when trial come, don't tell me that you made mistake. Yes, sir. This you have said will be what will strengthen, encourage, and carry you that the Lord said it to. Yes, sir. Is the Lord who? Yes, sir. So you were sweeping and suddenly you started watching video. You started seeing <laughs> something. Eh? And the Lord said, this one. Mm. And you were still able to sweep that day. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay, what happened? So, as I heard it, I was, I was kind of, I was kind of rejecting that. But it if cannot... it is me, eh? Hmm. Me, I will not reject you. Mm. Will, mm. No, wait. Me, I will not reject. Ah. Why would somebody, God, be giving you a gift you'll be rejecting? If it is me, I will say, Father, not my will. Let your will be done. Because if God has answered your rejection, you would have not be here now. So stop rejecting. Your, stop rejecting. If God just talked to you, say, Father, not my will. Let your will be done. If it's your will, let it come to oh, pass. Wow. Why should I be rejecting? Uh, why should I be rejecting? Uh, why should I be rejecting? Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, they, they, God, they carry better thing they give me. Who am I to say no? What God gives me is the best for me. Is it not true? Yes. The only thing I will reject is if you discover your body is moving, is lost. You go bind, you go nail them. You go overcome them. In Jesus' name. Yes. But if it is in the spirit, and you, you see in the spirit, and you know you are not lost in, just pray simple prayer. Father, not my will. Your will be done. Simple prayer. And you relax. You don't need to go home and be sending midnight test message. Hello, sister. I cannot sleep because of you. Since I was sweeping and I saw you, my head is scatter scatter. Is that not a sin? Yes. It's a sin now. Uh -uh. You begin to send tests, you find the person number. Please, sorry, don't let Pastor see this test. Too. If Pastor see it, he will suspend me. Ah! Hey, Joe. Babu, Babu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the way of the world, the way of unbelievers. Eh? Unbelievers use why you use trick, use all those things. Unbelievers. No, church is not like that. Uh -uh. Church way is pure, holy, clean, clean, clean. And then when the marriage comes together, everything will be clean, clean. You want why your children? No. You want why your children? No. Then make you not do why your marriage. You. Anyway, let's go further. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Oh, I, I forgot you are talking. Yes, you said then what happened? So after then, I went to the thing is keep repeating repeating so, mm. two days or three days in time i had a revelation i was in a revelation so I after saw you after you were sweeping mm. and you saw him from that time you said okay hence i have seen the person i'm going to marry why will i be coming to pastor's company to sweep again so is that how you stop no sir <laughs> praise the lord go ahead <laughs> Uh -huh. So, I saw I was in Revelation two days in Tavat. So, as I, I was in Revelation, I saw then we were having a medical uh, department. Okay, there. which means so, so the Lord was, was the one. Yes. So, how you came about him was the Lord spoke to you. Yes. And yes. you knew him as a Christian. Yes, sir. You saw him in the house of God. Yes, sir. Okay, you didn't see him showing his low waist. No, sir. No, sir. Eh? No, sir. Eh. Okay, you didn't see him with Rastafarian head? No, sir. Okay, you didn't see him smoking Indian ham? No, sir. Okay, okay. That, you have answered two questions. Remember one, 
Why do you want to marry Samson? Because it's the Lord that said it. Mm -hmm. Did God force you? No, sir. The Lord said it. Yes, just, that's the reason you want to marry him. The Lord said it. Talk to you, no like her. <laughs> Is he not a brother? Yes, sir. He's a brother. <laughs> are you okay? When the Lord said it, are you not happy about it? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now. Let the Lord have his way in your life. Let the Lord have his way. Let you see her? Where did you see her? Why do you want to marry her? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First in uh, 2011. Same day. Uh -uh. Maybe. Uh -uh. This is marriage. Okay. Okay. So when I newly encountered Christ. Yes. So I was in a dream. So I saw I was in a wedding uh, program. So I had I saw that my, I was wedding with somebody. That I, did, I didn't know, I've not seen once. So the wedding was so glorious. The cloth we were was shiny. So, wait. But why is it that some of you sometimes, you go and go, they do like say, I don't want to marry. Whereas when they do, wait, 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 wait. When they, when they see Revelation, they put that for memory card. Hey, God, they tell you, they go, they memorize and they go, they put that for, they go, they store them for memory card. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 2011 till now is how many years? Nine years. Interesting. So, so when I woke up, I, I was surprised. I was amazed. Why? Like, I, didn't, I, I thought the dream was like something demonic. No. So, no. If you see that, what is demonic? If you see that you dream or you see a revelation, you're doing wedding and it's church wedding and brethren are there and you're singing and worshiping God. That's not demonic. Yes, yes. Satan, oh. but if you see that you are, you are wedding in the presence of Juju yes. or you are committing fornication, that's what will make you come for counseling and deliverance. Anyway, maybe you were still a baby Christian. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. I just nearly gave my life to Christ then. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes. I, it's understandable. It's understandable. So, so, but if I'm taking it to that uh, way, I, I lose my peace. But you are when taking I, it to which way? That is the way I see this demonic. Okay. But when I see it as though the way God revealed it, I, uh, I have this joy. Look, in my there is spirit. something I'm about to say. You say when you think it that is the Lord or is marriage, you will, jo you will be having joy. 
listen, oh. this thing I'm about to say, it might look ugly. People will say, how oh, I pastor say this kind of thing. But this is the truth. Not that when two of you are now sleeping together, and in the night, you wake up, maybe you are praying. Then she they sleep. And then she sleep, forget body. Then she come mess. Wait. Then, because, wait, 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 wait. And because she go work that day, for working place, she need to go to toilet, no chance, she hold him. Then they send a message, she hold, she don't. Then she go cut, no chance, she hold on. She hold on, then they hold on, they hold on, they hold on. Because of that, because of the complication of not going to toilet on time, she got home, the thing not come, come out. Then in the night, she come fat. Which one they call men for preaching English? Listen, the thing come smell past what you hate. Come. What do you go do? You go reverse? No, sir. Or you go come talk, say, ah ah. Now this guy smell, smell your wife. Now God give me. No. I don't say God not to make mistake. Praise the Lord. You know why they talk on her? Because some men they do more. Some men they do them. It was your his. But if he mess na mangi, if his wife mess na shit, is that good? No. You hear what I talk? Yes, sir. You go remember this thing. Oh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, if na newly married now, everybody will do. Eh. that kind of go just the mete the mete. But after some time. Maintain, go maintain self. Okay. So you mean you had uh, revelation? So how did you now, how did that one not translate to her? How did you not know it's her? So when, and aside that, when I came to Ogida, mm. I, I see uh, there were other revelation uh, sisters I saw. Mm. But after a certain time, to just fade away. Okay. Okay. Then you know, when there I, were other you would yes. see some different sisters yes. appearing and disappearing. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. So when I now started staying here, okay. then I, I had another re revelation. Okay. Then it was then I now saw her. Okay. She was wearing her law costume. Okay. She was sitting on top of a chair. Hmm. So she was just you know, gazing at me and smiling. So I was, I was now wondering what the smile was all about. So, which means, as all these sisters are gazing at me now and smiling, uh -huh. all of them, so, because the reason I'm saying this is that some people, they come to work in the hall, and if a brother now come to play music, and they are getting at the person and smiling, they will say, Hosanna is him. <laughs> no. So, we want to know, explain. Uh -huh. So, there was this joy, joy, and the knowing in my spirit, that, that she was the person the I am to get married to. Okay. There was this conviction in your spirit. Yes. Okay, good. Now, how many questions has he answered? Two. Now, why do you want to marry her? Why? The reason I want to marry her first is because she is a Christian. She's born again. Mm -hmm. And also, she is the rip that God took from me. Look at what he has said. Look at what he has just said. Look at what he has just said. Tomorrow, don't come and tell us the rib God took from me that he handed over to you is not good. Oh. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the Lord have his way in your life. 
Juliet, right? Okay. Is it J I O N I N G Joiny? Is that the meaning of Juliet? Oh, okay, Juliet. Okay. How did you see this brother? Praise the Lord. It was 2018. Oh, 2018? Yes, sir. Wow. That's last year. Wow. Can you imagine? Somebody was seeing you from 2011 and he was praying and fasting. And you didn't see until 2009. Jesus of Nazareth. 2018. Hey, whoa. So what happened? So I was praying that God will reveal the person he wants me to marry. So as I was praying, I had it in my heart that he's the one that will be my husband to be. Okay. So as I had it in my heart, I was not convinced. But so I kept praying and praying. So I kept praying. I, I kept having the, the conviction. became uh, stronger, stronger and stronger, stronger in my heart. That he's the one. And I had joy. I had peace. So okay, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You mean... How did it become strong? Was it that you were just going to kappa, 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 kappa? Did, is that what you did? No, sir. Okay, okay. okay. So the Holy Spirit just uh, told me that okay. he's the one. He's the one. Yes, mm. You are the one, you are not the two. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. So it was in your spirit. Yes. So you never had a dream? No, sir. Okay, you never saw a vision. No, it was just in your spirit. Yes. Uh, the spirit of God convinced you yes. that this is the one. And mm -hmm. you have joy. And anytime you think about him, your legs leave the ground, your head swing, <laughs> and your, your hands are clapping. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Now, where did you see him? In the house of God. In the house of God. Yes. Now, the last question. Why do you want to marry him? I want to marry him because God spoke to me that he's the one that will be my husband. Mm -hmm. And he's the best for me. He's the best. I see the dress he's wearing. There is, a, is a, the picture of an apple. And they already bite from that apple. Is it that you ate that place already? Or it is you they remove and they are putting it back tomorrow? It's me the remover. Ah, okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Sweet. 
time we don't want to keep you here too long because tomorrow is so unique you got you got a lot to do you got a lot are the chickens already be fried not yet hold on oh oh oh, oh. i'm not supposed to have said that am i supposed to? Don't forget the first song I taught you. Don't forget. That's one of our old songs. We sang that song before you got here. But it's still new. Amen. Amen. We will just entertain some questions. Are the ushers here to take this mic around, please? Please, please, ushers. Okay, um, um, okay, let's give to these two guests because they were the first that raised their hands. Now, before you ask your question, you must concede to me that I'm the moderator tonight. Yes, I have the honor to moderate. If your questions would be a blessing to all of us, of course, they'll take it. But if your question... If, if it's not to be answered today, I will push it forward, okay? Okay, yes, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My question goes to Brother Samson and Sister Blessing. Okay. I want to know the reason why, why they wear the same shirt and who brought the idea among them to wear the same shirt. the Lord I think I will answer this question after consulting with the ministers I think it's not necessary for them to have worn the same cloth maybe they decided to use it but I think it's not necessary it's not a rule and it's not a law uh -huh. so we will skip that question yes I'm going to another question Jesus. Yes, my question is to Brother Samson. Yes. We have many blessings in this world. We have blessed you, Hannah, bless you, Agenero, bless you. Bless you, Daniel. We have many blessings. How did he know that is this blessing that he is going to marry? Okay. Okay, who are you asking? Samson. Yes. Okay. Praise the Lord. It was when God show when God show me show her to me. Yes. It was not his name. He show I saw her direct. So before God now reviewed it. So it is not just that God said blessing. Uh, blessing though, but that he just saw her as a person. And you understood, okay, this is sister blessing, okay? Yes. Sir. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Okay, now we're going to go to a brother. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, my question goes to the Brazana and Sister Juliet. Uh, after confirming that it is God that told them and the Holy Spirit that told them, did they just meet together and said, it is God that showed me 
you are the one to marry. They just come together, or they have they go to pastor or ministers directly. Okay. Who do you want? Who do you want to answer? Hosanna. Yes. After God made me know that she's the one, then the next thing I did was to let uh, relate it to my father and the Lord, Pastor. Are you satisfied? Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Another my, brother, please. My question. Another brother, please. Sorry, sorry, Grace, be patient. Praise the Lord. My question goes to Brother Samson. Okay. Can I see your hand? Okay. Yes, what is the question? I hope, uh, my question is that, I hope it's not after marrying uh, Sister Blessing. For some few weeks, maybe you now realize that yeah, there is something you don't like on him. There you now decided to or break the marriage, or you run away and leave him. I hope you don't do like that. So that is my question. Yes, come. I hope you will not break the marriage and run away from blessing. No, sir. Are you satisfied? Okay, God bless you. Yes. Now we will, we will have, we have slot for one brother, one sister. So sister first. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My question is that after God, after God had told them that they want to marry each other, did they go for blood test that whether it's AS or SS? Who, who are you asking? It's Brother Samson. No. He said no, they didn't do that. They were satisfied with the word of the Lord. God bless you. One brother, please. Praise the Lord. My question is goes to Brother Hosanna and Sister Juliet. When Brother Hosanna saw Sister Juliet as a sister that he wants to marry since 2011, and Sister Juliet has not seen him then until on 2018. Was she not ready to marry or what was going on during that period? I think I can answer this question um, um, because I know what he will say, but I will add to that to make it more clearer. It's possible God reveals somebody to you in order to keep you waiting uh, to prepare you so that you don't start looking here and there and the other person is not prepared perhaps god was still building their characters and if god has revealed uh maybe the brother to her in that same 2011 maybe she was not spiritually mature to be able to to wait and you know, there are some persons like that. That is why some people, when they have revelation, they will see the body of the person, they will not see the face. Or uh, sometimes they will just see the revelation, they wake up, they will, they will not remember everything. It's because God is just telling you, I have someone for you, be patient. Otherwise, if you know everything, look, you might just wake up in your house instead of going to school. Just imagine, those years, she was still schooling. She was still in university. She will not even read her book. She will carry her book. Instead of reading a law book one, we say Hosanna book one. She cannot concentrate. And then she will, anytime she, she comes to fellowship, if she doesn't see Hosanna, she will not be able to uh, concentrate on the word of God. So if God see that, look, this person will not be able to handle it till so, so time, God will not show the person. And the one he showed, maybe God sees that the person will be able to handle it. That is why it was clear to that person. So we are different in so many ways, but yet we are still the same in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Have I answered your question? 
Okay, amen. Now, the final part is admonition. What advice do you have to give? What advice do you have to give to them? Maybe you have advice, maybe you have encouragement. So we will have like four sisters. Maybe there are parents here among us who like to advise. Maybe there are four brothers who like to advise. They like to encourage them. Please, if you have, just raise up your hand. Yes. Maybe there are parents. They have experience. They are wanting on the other to just lecture them, to just give them a word of advice. Maybe there are some brothers or sisters. Please. We will be happy if there are parents who want to talk. Yes. Is there any parents raising hand? Okay, yes. Yes, please. May I be Ubangiji? Interpreter. May I be Ubangiji? We pray. Praise the Lord. Interpreter, please. Interpreter. May I be Ubangiji? Somebody come and interpret now. May I be Ubangiji? Praise God. Praise the Lord. Shower and the Zambama, brother Samsi. I want to advise brother Samsi. The bro Huzana. I'm bro, I'm bro Zana. Data Sister Blessing. And Sister Blessing. Data Mrs. Juliet. And Sister Juliet. Shower and I see a Kanzaman Aure. Is about marriage. A quay Gwaja Gwaja da Bandabang. There are many trials. Dick Gwaja Gwaja de Azomuku. Any trials that comes on your way. Without Keshi da Hakuri. Take it with patience. Kumika ma Ubangiji. Put it. Put it before the Lord. Don't allow the devil to bring confusion to your family. Division can come in through sickness. Through a when you are about to give birth. Or through money. If you put every if you put everything before God, you will overcome. You will have peaceful family. There are many problems that may problem that may arise through girls and other means. I want to advise you don't use it. Listen to each other with the voice of the Lord. May God help you. Praise the Lord. Next. Next parent, please. Any other parent? Any other parents of mature brethren? There's a man here raising up hand. Please, there's a man at the front. Please. There's a man at the front here. Okay. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. I am very happy to welcome my two sons in the name of Mary today. So my advice to them is that you have to be patient and you have to submit everything to God. And you will ask God to give you advice because this is a new journey. So you have to be patient and contribute yourself to the Lord so that you can do everything successfully in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, any other parents here? Two, we still have slot for two parents. Then, before we go to other brothers. Okay. Muyabe Ubangiji. Muyabeji. Now, what am I a Shinega Posto? Now, what am I a Shinega Posto? Interpreter, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She said her question goes to uh, goes to Pastor. No, no more question. We now give advice. I mean, hello, Mama. Eche maganeng babu tambaya woi. Question time, Pastor. Okay, now she ne wana mafadikida anka woi. Okay. Any advice, encouragement from parents? We still have two parents left. 
before we go to please ushers look at where they are raising hand Let's go. Ko wane iri abun cigaban su da nasarar su sai taurin addu'a tare. Please the Lord. Hallelujah. She said that her own is that they should be praying together. Ko da wani iri sabuwa ya shiga sakanin su kada su yarda su yau shi da juna su fasa ya hana su yin addu'a. No matter the circumstances they find themselves they should not stop praying together. Ko cikin yunwa ko cikin tsanani ko cikin dadi su kasance su kada su manta da lokacin addu'an su safe da yamma In hunger in pain they should never forget their prayer time Kada su manta lokacin addu'an su na dare They should always pray in the morning in the afternoon and in the night Taurin addu'an ne zai za su samu nasara bisharar yadar da bishara da kuma su ba da yayi cikin ruwaniya Through prayers they can give birth to godly children Allah zai taimake mu God will help them Praise the Lord Please, for those of you about to marry, you are not yet married, you are not yet husband and wife. Uh, you have heard those who are married, and they are sharing their experience with you. So everything they are telling you, please don't take it as story. Note it down. When you get to the house, if you don't have writing, money, write it down, put it down. Every word they have told you, they are very, very important. Yes, they are godly parents who are sharing godly advice with you they have been able to live together with their wives with their husband through the years and they know what they've gone through they know the importance of prayer they know the importance of patience it has carried them and that's exactly what they are sharing with you so take it very serious yes take it very very serious yes praise the lord uh we still have slot for one parent then after that we go to some Brethren, yes, yes, there is, yes. Now, when you muduka, good evening. Welcome, we are welcome to Montana. She is a man, our way, our way, daddy, our way, daddy. She said, I'm finished now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> she said that there is a song that simply says, uh, living in marriage. You will encounter pain and there is also sweetness in marriage. Did you tell you like, like this? Eh? Baha kana fada ba. Meji ka fada. Na she zaman aure akwe dadi akwe achi. She said living in marriage there is sweetness there is bitterness. Okay. Uh -huh. So yanzu go be in Allah ya kai rai za hada muku aure. By God grace tomorrow there will be a marriage. To a cikin zaman aure akwai abubuwa da yawa. She said living in marriage there are so many things. To abin da yana hada fada farko a cikin zaman aure ce ce a layi. She said one of the things that mostly bring fight among uh, family is eating outside. To musamman kuyan camp wana an saba cintuwan Santana a bakin gate. She said most especially uh, the those that are uh, the boys that are living in the camp they are fond of eating Santana outside the gate. So, idan Allah ya kai rai gobe ya tsaya. She said by God grace tomorrow will be the end for them. So, sanan idan bai tsaya ba farko abin da zai kawo damuwa zuwa cikin gidan ku. Because if they will not stop it, it will be the first thing that will start causing problem in the family. Do me why su maza za su ci abin dubu biyu a waje, abin 250 da 50 zuwa gida. They she said that some people will eat something of 2,000 something outside and bring a uh, uh, hmm. shopping of 250 naira to their homes. So, she said that <laughs> this is the cause that you will see a mother and her children suffering at home while the man will be enjoying shopping himself outside. Like How can a peace like this when there is so, uh, such things in the family? So, I've been the Zaku for go, 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 go
a samu muku abinci ruhani ya na bincike an safe da yamma a gida she say one of the things that she advise them is they should have a, a time to search the scripture how to grow in the spirit idan kuka fara da sunan ubangiji da sunan ubangiji zai kare if they start in the name of the lord it will also end in the name of the lord and nan duk abubuwan da dama za a yi zai kare and was ever is going to take place it will just so, so saboda karancin lokaci bari in daga ta haka ubangiji ya taimake mu because of the shortest of time she will stop here he be like hold praise the lord he be like say na this woman go preach tomorrow <laughs> Praise the Lord. Like I have told you everything they are telling you see all the parents that have spoken they are bringing different different aspect of marriage. This aspect she just brought I never thought about it. Very revelational. Very very inspirational. So if you must know these things it will help the marriage because a man or a wife whose mouth is on the pot outside will never be a good father a good husband but there are times you buy things already made food you bring it home and eat together that one is separate that's not what she mean but this penchant for going to uh, um, a bow pepper center so 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 place you go and eat there you spend money with you and your friends and when you get home you start backing give 200 naira to, to to your family while you have just spent 10000 naira and all that please listen to her she's a mother she's a wife she's talking to you people so take note of all these things if you learn from their experience then you will avoid mistakes and if you just know it now from the beginning so you avoid those mistakes we are very blessed tonight to have such wonderful parents in our midst. Usually, a lot of parents don't like attending this. They feel, well, it's for youth. But I'm glad that they came and uh, they are part of what you are going to do tomorrow. So, honor them, listen to them, and you will have a wonderful family. God bless you. <laughs> Let the Lord have his way in your life. Let the Lord have his way. One more time. Let So, brothers and sisters here who want to just chip in one thing or the other they may not be married they may not be parents but they are brothers they are your brothers they are your sisters yes please very fast please yes praise the Lord my advice is that I want to advise Sister Juliet and Blessing. Uh, in their marriage, the, the thing that will cause uh, Bro Zana or uh, uh, Bro something to go and buy anything outside or eating mm -hmm. another thing mm -hmm. is because some parents, I see many parents, they will cook food and the, the, their husband may not like the food. They will cook it, and instead of them to cook it uh, too, uh, the one that they like, they will cook it separately, and they will cook uh, her husband or so that her husband will be happy. Let, let me just help you finish it. <laughs> Listen, what, what he's trying to tell you, I'm sure he has seen some things, yes. One, let me tell you, first of all, we shouldn't talk, we shouldn't talk like it's only your wives that cook. There are times husband also cook. Like me now, I'm a very good cook. I can cook. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So take note of that. There are times husband cook, but for the wife and for, you know, there are certain level of cooking you know how to do. Some of us, 
we came from a particular family we are used to cooking in one way let us try to improve and learn and also try to understand each other what we like and how we like it and joyfully even do it together you can say oh put this one this is the way i love it what you love she may not like in such a situation what our brother is saying is that let's have the two enjoy your own and enjoy this one we are still one am i correct yes. praise the lord uh, there should not be in position you should not dominate the appetite of the other person there are times you want to eat apple like you are wearing apple now and she wants to eat cashew you should not say she must eat apple in that case it will not be good she may say okay i want to submit to you and eat that apple she'll start pouring out and vomiting do you understand me and try to also improve because some people don't grow at all like me i learn every day what i don't know i want to know there are persons that have menu some uh, recipe or what they call it different kind of cooking go and learn it go and learn many things and if you employ me i will come and teach you i know how to yes i can come to your family i know how to cook i'll just say give me 15 10 uh, 20 minutes i'll just make something with granite do everything and you will like it i'm not asking you to be bringing men and women to come and be teaching you at home but there are ways you can learn and add to the one you you already know just to help one another we should do this thing joyfully eh? Do it there are times she wants to eat pandediam and she wants to eat rice. What do we do? We make the two. Now, what if we don't have enough to make the two? You look at each other. You look at each other the way you start looking at each other now. Like now, even there are certain things you may not like, but you know, you are still youngie. You just look at each other and smile. Okay, what do we do? Mm -hmm. You can decide, okay, let's eat your rice. She can decide, let's eat your pandediam. But one person should not always be overbearing. It must be what I say. No, it's not good like that. Eh? So, okay, hence we don't have to cook the two. Mm -mm -mm, I will just bear this one. Let's just go for this. Maybe next time we go for that. That's how to do it. Eh? That's how to do it. Papa, is it not true? Papa, what I say, is it not correct? It's correct, eh? <laughs> we are clap for pastor. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Did I, did I understood your question? Okay. Uh, we will give a slot now to just one person. Time is really not. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. My own word of advice to, bo to the four of them is that there is a time of shortage and time of trials. When they are in shortage of things in the family, the sister should not put pressure in the brother, and the brother should know, and the sister should know that if he have available, they will enjoy together. And when he don't have it, they both, both of them should bear it and pray to God that God will provide that thing. And praise the Lord. That is what I want to say. You see, that is an experienced sister. Maybe she too will get married very soon. Who knows? Somebody probably is praying. Praise the Lord. Thank you everyone for coming. Um, there are, there's a lot to say. Actually, we didn't start on time. I didn't even know they were there. I was here waiting to see them. It was when the ministers came <laughs> that they told me they saw them. They, I, well, nobody knew. Usually, they're supposed to sit around you know, so that we know. I didn't know you were around. So we would have started much earlier. But we have to close now because it's already almost 10 p.m. You don't have much time. You still have a lot to do. So for those of you who still have questions, please be patient for the next wedding that I'm about to announce. So you will, you will, you will have, praise the Lord. Please let me stay clearly what I said. Don't misinterpret me. Be patient, be patient for the next wedding that I'm about to announce, just the way we announce this one. Is it clear? Okay, amen. So will we all rise up now? Everybody open your eyes, be quiet, listen. Listen. We want to ask you, the Bible says, the Bible says, marriage is honorable in the Lord. 
but the, in all, but the bed on the fire. Every one of us here have watched you and see how you have lived. But we want these people, especially the young persons here, to take note because this is the age of boyfriend and girlfriend where the church has been so swallowed up with boyfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend and girlfriend, that now you, you see sin have so much crept into the church. So we just need to know from you. Were you boyfriend and girlfriends? No, sir. Were you meeting alone secretly, holding each other, fornicating? No, sir. So you have heard. You have heard. Is that true? Yes, very correct. Is that true? Yes, sir. So before marriage as a Christian, you don't commit fornication. You don't have sexual intercourse. Praise the Lord. Is that clear? No sexual intercourse. No meeting secretly. No, like some people, they use phone to do a lot of things in the night. Anybody who does that, you have laid your grave. You have laid your grave. No matter how you pretend, you have laid your grave by yourself. So, hence, God honors marriage. Everything about it will be done honorably. So anything you did dishonorably, the Lord will also dishonor you in, in due time. Praise the Lord. So how many of you are ready to honor the Lord? How many of you are ready to honor the Lord? We are going to pray for you. Father, help them, keep them. No matter the temptation, help them to be strong. Help them to overcome. Help them to live a life that will make them to have this honor, to have this honor and testimony in the name of the Father yeah. and the Son yeah. and the Holy Ghost yeah. in Jesus' name. Yeah. And for those who are about to marry, for what they still need to do tonight, help them through. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, please, all of you listen. The last wedding that was done here, people were here, while a lot of you were at home. Tomorrow, every one of you must come here on time. Everybody must come here on time. Whether pastor is here or not, you must be here. It's not that wedding will be taking place, you'll be somewhere. Then, when they want to share food, you will not run down. That is a sin. Is that not a sin? So you must be here from beginning to the end. Eh? Okay? And I'm sure, hold on, hold on. I'm sure you have something to give tomorrow. I want to see, hey, I want to see everywhere feed up with your gifts. Amen. But if you are not able to buy gifts, don't go and hide. Come. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So there are still things to do. I encourage all the sisters, all the brothers, please join your hands together. All the women, all the parents, please help them to do everything. God bless you. Amen.